Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Niall Lynn and I have an unboxing for you. Look what I got. Woo! It's the Biagi Hangaroo Garment Bag and Tote. Two bags in one. These are the dimensions. It's humongous, but it's very light. So this is exciting because normally a tote this big would actually the bag part would actually be heavy and it wouldn't also be a garment bag. So this is why I purchased it. Um, and of course, because I'm an actress, so I'm always, always schlepping around some sort of outfit to go somewhere, which is awesome to be there, but the schlep, the struggle is real. And if you're an actress, you know that. And if you're a businesswoman or a mom or anyone else, any woman on the planet who has to drag a bag with all your stuff in it, you know that you want that bag to be an awesome bag. So I'm gonna give this one a try and I'll let you know how it goes. I'm gonna unbox it for you and show you what fits in it today. And um, we will explore it together. So here's the bag. I think it goes, yeah, okay, that way. Here we go. Yaji. So this is the front pocket. I have zips on the side, but those are to close it up. And um, here's the straps. And let's just open it up all the way. So you see that, this, there's pockets here, mesh pockets. And then this goes up, and that's what makes it a garment bag. It's got a little, it's got the whole, it's a, it's a garment bag. It's a garment bag. And then you fold it back in and it's a tote. So let's put a dress in there and see what that looks like with the dress in there. All right, let me grab this dress here. So this is a cocktail dress. The, um, the garment bag is about 44 inches long. This is just a Tahari cocktail dress. Well, I mean, I guess you could wear this for business meeting too because it's not flashy or anything. So I'm just gonna put that in there. And zip it up. All right, so that's in there all the way. And then this folds down. Boom. So this becomes the interior of the tote. There's the snaps. Okay, now let's see what fits in these mesh pockets. This is a three ounce. Neutrogena, now it's gonna fit a lot more than that, but I just wanted to give you a reference for the size of it. So that's a pretty big pocket. You can fit a lot of other stuff in there. I have a mini curling iron that is in the other room that I know would fit in there. Like a travel size, you know? All right, let's zip that up. These are just face wipes. You know, we always carry a pack and a face wipe for us, so I thought I'd put those in there. Okay, and then we close it up. All right, this front pocket, what fits in there? Lots of good stuff. This is a checkbook sized wallet. Let's put that in there for you. Okay, great, that fits really easy. Nice zip, very simple. Let's look on the back side of the bag. Another big pocket, huge pocket, as well as a luggage sleeve. Let me see if I can find it. There it is, luggage sleeve. So that goes over the handle of your luggage. In this huge bag, ladies, fellow actresses, your script in a poly envelope. For the directors, your script in a poly envelope. A New Yorker magazine, just for reference, so you can see how big it is. Headshots. This is a great place to get your headshots printed. This guy does really good color. If you need headshots taken, go to shanemarriage.com. Put a link below for that, as well as the bag. If you're interested, and I'll put a city retro when I get a chance. All right, so that was good stuff. Let's flip it back over. You could fit your computer in the middle. This is a computer bag. This is like a, a 15 by 11 computer bag. It's humongous. Much bigger than most tablets, so your tablet's gonna fit in there, no problem. But what I'm gonna show you is for an actress. Um, although I do bring my tablet sometimes, a lot of times I don't because I don't need it. I, already, I have a script and I've already memorized my lines. Um, so I just bring my smartphone because that does almost everything the tablet does. What I do bring is this bombshell 
makeup bag from Victoria's Secret. It's a massive makeup bag. Any makeup bag will do, but I want to tell you this makeup bag is 8 by 10 So it's the side of a, size of a headshot this way, 8 by 10 Or, no, 8, eight by 10 And then this side is like 5 inches wide. 4 or 5 inches wide, and it's barely zipped up. It is packed. This is my face and my hair and just all kinds of stuff. And like if I need to take a nap on a train or a plane or in an automobile or, you know, in the trailer on set or what have you, this is my face. And yes, on set, most of the time someone else is doing your makeup, but a lot of times us actresses have to do our makeup for um, uh, an audition, a go-see, um, even a small indie film, we're doing our own makeup. I personally like to do my own makeup, if unless, you know, unless there's a, an awesome makeup artist, but I, I do enjoy it, it's fun. Um, so this is my makeup bag for like everything that I ever need. And I keep all my makeup in there so I can grab it and go um, if I need to, because my experience of having it like out on a vanity or in the bathroom is then you're searching for everything. So just a little tip, word to the wise. So I'm gonna put that in there. I'm gonna fold the bag over it, then zip it up, zip a -roo. Here we go, that's zipped. Zip this. Zip. That's zipped. That monster bag is in here. Look at this. There's still room, and that's not even zipped up. It's not even closed. So it's just like taking up mm, as much space as it can. Look at this. A 23 ounce water bottle. 23.7. It's all the way in there. You can't see it. It disappears in there. A full size umbrella. All in there. What? Look at this massive bag, you guys. Oh my god, ladies. We're, I mean, you're gonna love this. I love it already. Steve Madden six and a half size pumps. All the way in the bag. All the way in. They fit all the way in the bag. They're not sticking out of the bag. I, I usually throw in a scarf on top. But I could really actually fit more things in here. This is a uh, Eight ounce sunblock. This is a smaller little clutch. A little bigger than the checkbook. That's um, from Elf, from that wonderful designer who designs dresses, but he did a little bag for Elf with lip gloss. And I got it. All right. All kinds of things fit in here. It is so big. So you could put your, obviously you could put your purse, like if you're wearing a crossbody bag, it's gonna fit in there. You know, um, if you if you have like your makeup in your crossbody bag, and you just want to throw that in there while you write your audition. So everything's gonna fit in, and it's a garment bag. That's kind of wild, don't you think? So I'm kind of in love with it already. I mean, I haven't used it, but I've thrown it over my shoulder. And the, the strap is nice. Look how much fits in here. You guys, th that makeup bag is still in there and I have a full on Michael Kors crossbody. And this isn't, you know, this isn't like a small crossbody. It's like a, a full handbag. Crazy. I'm kind of in love with this. I'm in love with it already. I'll let you know how it goes taking it to auditions and set and film festivals and red carpets and whatnot but I'm already kind of in love with it. I'll put a link below for anything that I mentioned when I get a chance. But right now I'm just gonna upload this unedited. Bing, bang, boom, got stuff to do. Have a script to learn for a reading that's coming up. It's uh, 99 pages right now <laughs> and it's an emotional lead role. So um, sorry, I don't edit my YouTube videos. It's really because I just am so focused on doing other stuff. I actually love your edited YouTube videos. You guys are so impressive. The production quality is amazing. If any of you are um, fellow filmmakers, if you direct, let me know if you're in New York and you wanna collab um, because the stuff I see you do on YouTube is really good quality, a lot of you. So, you know, I'm here, I live in New York City, on the west side, uptown, up, 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 uptown. And um, I would love to hang out and grab coffee. Um, and you know talk about projects 
and or we can just go to Sephora and look at makeup. It doesn't have to be something clever. <laughs> All right, thanks for tuning in. This is Niall Lynn. Have a wonderfully creative and successful day.